everyone, Gabriel here. And today we are going to learn how to capture the data on that type of grid. You can see here the main issue is those two double headers here. So the first line of each cell is the company and the second line is the country. And the same goes for here. The first line is subdomain one and the second line is subdomain two. We are going to learn how to capture that data and export it to a table with that data separated. Let's jump inside kernel scan. Inside kernel scan, let's just create a new job. And for that, we click on the new batch button here and click on the job wizard button. Let's call it double header job. And I will fix that O here and we click on next. We don't need IntelliTag, so we disable it and then click on next. We have multi-image documents and we are going to split them manually. We click on next again. Here we are not going to capture any of those fields, so we just remove all of them and leave the, just that one, the scan date. We click on next. We are going to set up the output in a little bit. We click on next again. And here we click on finish. And now we are ready to create our first batch. I will call it double header batch one and then click on create batch. Now what I want to do is just drag the document from Windows Explorer and drop it inside Chronoscan. Scan. I will click yes. And I want to make sure we have extract text from PDF selected. And if omit text in image shows up, we don't need it. Let's just deselect it and make sure that the resolution is on 300 or 400. We leave in auto detect and then we click OK. Now we are ready to start working into our grid setup. Let's just open the first page here. Let's wait for Chronoscan to do the OCI reading and let's click on the data panels button up here. We are going to enable the first grid control. Let's move that window a little bit to the side here. Let's click on the first grid control and then options. And now we have to think about the fields we need to create to capture the grid. We are going to create a field to capture the entire data of the column. And then we are going to create custom fields to separate the lines here. And the same thing for that second double header here. And you can see that the technique will leave a lot of empty cells here. And what we are going to do is we are going to duplicate the last entry here. The first thing on the data capture fields is to delete all of those fields. We click yes, and let's start creating our fields. The first one, we are going to name it double header one. It should be alphanumeric, just a regular field. And we don't want to remove carriage return. We just click here and then set to set it to no. Because otherwise, kernel scan will read everything as an entire line and we won't be able to capture different lines here. So we have to make sure that remove carriage return is set to no. And that's done. We have to create the two custom fields that are going to capture those lines here, the first line and the last line. For now, I will just create normal fields and I will name them company and then country. There we go. And now let's create the second double header here. I will just name it double header two. It should be alphanumeric again and carriage return. We have to make sure it's set to no. And now let's create the actual fields we want to capture. And you will see that I'm going to use underscores because of the type of export we are going to do. I will just leave it as alphanumeric for now, but we are going to change that in a little bit. Subdomain one, subdomain two. And I'm going to fix that all. There we go. Now we just have to keep creating fields for the rest of the table. We have here type, we have date, and this one, we can set it already to type date. 
There we go. We have growth rate. And I have to make sure I have underscore on all fields that I want to export. Currency. Rank. And that's separated into rank, rank one and rank two. And at last we have amount. Now we are ready to start drawing our table. Let's just click OK and close here and let's start working. To make sure our grid setup is done the easiest way and the fastest way, we can just move the modules panel and you can see it just opened when you close the data panels menu the modules panel will show up. You can just drag it, drag it and move it here. It makes it a lot easier to deal with table data. And to draw our table, I will just zoom out a little bit here. I don't want that kind of zoom, I want that type of zoom. There we go, we have the entire table here. And I'm going to click on Edit Grid. And if you don't have the modules panel, just make sure you click here on the Panels button and make sure it is enabled here on the view data modules panel. I will just enable it to show you and there we go. Now let's click on edit grid and you can see the cursor changes to new capture grid and I will just drag the mouse here, click and make the drawing around the whole table and release it when I'm happy with the results. The first thing we can notice is that the header is not on the right place. What I'm going to do is just push it down just like this. And now it's correct. And you can see all of our fields doesn't match the table we have. So we have to fix that up. First thing, double header, we don't want that. Okay, we want that, but we don't want company and country. So we are going to delete, delete those. There we go. Let's move it to the right place. Double header two, same thing, but we don't want domain one and domain two. We are going to remove those and move it to the right place. Here we have type, it is correct. Date here, good. Growth rate, there we go. Currency, rank, and you can see we have some columns missing. Let's just click here and split column here and split again. Let's set it, set it up to the right size. And then this one is rank one already. Let's make this rank two and this last one amount. Very easy to set up. The next step is to select the correct, the, the master column that we need here. Since we have the, almost all of the cells filled on the type and date and amount, we could use any of those. I'm going to use amount here, but if, with your columns, you should always try out different setups until you get the one that will satisfy all of your needs. Now, we have to set up the data capture. If we click on read here, you can see we have all of those empty cells here because they are, well, they are empty. And you can see we don't have nothing on those two fields here. What we have to do is click on the options again and let's open the double header one. That's the one that's capturing our data. And what we are going to do to remove those empty cells here, we go on the current type options that's right under the double header. You, when you open it, you will see the current type options for each field. And instead of default, we are going to set it to custom. And you can see we have now a function field. And then we can set down here parameters and all that kind of stuff. On the function, we are going to do is copy previous row value if empty. 
now every time Chronoscan sees a empty cell, it will copy the value from the previous one that had some value in it. And on parameters, we don't have to set anything. We are going to do the same for double header two and go down here on the current type options for that cell, for that capture field and set it to custom. And then on the function, let's copy previous row value if empty. If we click OK here and read again, you will see that Chronoscan will fill out all of those empty cells. Now we want to set up something to split those lines here. We go on options again and let's work with our company and country fields and then the subdomain one and two. Let's open the company one and on type, instead of alphanumeric, we want to set it to custom. And you can see we have the function down here. Let's select the function, copy line. Then that will copy a line on another place of the table. We have to set the column name and the line number. Let's go to the parameters. The drop down menu will show up. We have to copy the line from double header one. And we, we get a comma and we write the line number. For the first line, we just type in one and that's set. Now, on the country, we have the second line. Let's set it again to custom. There we go. And on function, let's set it to copy line. And here it gets a little bit tricky. When we select the, the column name, we have double header one. And when we want the second line, we have to type minus one and that will capture the second line. If we click OK here and click read, you will see that the first line became that column here and the second line became that column here. And because we copied over all the data, you always will have information about the country and the company here. Now let's do the same for subdomain one and two. Let's click on options and let's navigate to the double header two. Let's go on subdomain one again, make it custom. And we want to set the function to copy line. And on the parameters, let's select double header two line one. And now on subdomain two, we set it to custom. And on the function, we make it copy line. We set the double header two. And since it is the second line, we have to set up minus one. Now we click OK. And when we read, we have our table completely filled with all the information we needed. You can see the first line is subdomain one and the second line is subdomain two. Now we are ready to go. To export all the data, we go back to the scan input tab and let's click on export batch. Here you can see we have the PDF, but we don't want that. So I will just remove it. There we go. And let's add a new one. We want a XML report and let's just export it to our file system to make things simpler. Now, what really matters here on the XML conversion options and when you click add, that menu, that window will open. Here is where you are going to set up the fields you want to export. I'm going, you have to go to the export fields here. I'm going to jump those ones and I'm going to focus on the grid control module one. You have to make sure you have export grid data set to true. And here you set the fields you want to export. I don't want to export the double header one. I will set this one to false. I will leave company and country true. And double header two, I will also set it to false. And now we are set to go. When I click OK, I will click OK here too. And I will click export now. 
this will generate the file and when I click on open file you will see here we have our XML file with all the information we just captured. So that's it guys, I hope you liked it and I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye!